Your past relapses on NoFap don't mean anything. And this is not me about to give you a motivational speech like some of these, um, uh, what the fuck is called? Semen retention people where they're like, you will not lose the attraction anymore. No, this is one of those videos. I'm about to give you concrete advice as to why exactly you can still quit. Even if you have binged for like six hours the day before today. Now, <clears throat> how we make new decisions is off of new information. We don't make decisions based off of dopamine and like all this other stuff controlling us. No, we think through decisions with the information we have and we make them. Now, with NoFap, you are fed so much incorrect information, okay? And when you have this incorrect information, it makes it inevitable that you will relapse. Meaning you think you have to fight triggers. Like these triggers are fucking coming at you. You have to fight these urges, you know, lust. The demon, the demon, like the demon is coming at you. This doesn't happen. And it's completely wrong info. And you have information that like you're addicted and stuff like this. Now, with this incorrect information, you will relapse. But with new information, meaning like if you read the freedom model, understand it or watch my videos, understand the videos and like stuff starts to connect in your head. It won't matter what your past relapses were, whether it was like two hours ago, whether it was like your thousandth relapse. It doesn't matter because relapses don't exist. A quote unquote relapse. I think I put in the title is just you making a decision based off of what you see as the best option, the best option right now, meaning the most happiest option, the most pleasurable option, happiest doesn't mean it has to be like make you happy, but it's the happiest option. And you see that as the happiest option. So you use and you use it for perceived benefits that make it that happiest option, aka like super pleasurable, relieve stress. Um, you know, it takes me out of this world. It's euphoria, like anything else, like all that stuff. Now, when you learn new information, you debunk these things. You debunk the addict self-image. You debunk the reasons for PMOing. Then you're left with what it actually is, a video and a physical sensation. And then you're left with the choice of if you want to do that or just abstain if you want to PMO or abstain because now you see it objectively for what it is and you know like you've just been actively placeboing those benefits onto the PMO and you're like okay I'm gonna choose not to do that and I'm gonna abstain and run that and see how life goes and you can stick with that and that does and like your past relapses doesn't matter because like it doesn't matter if you binged for six hours the day before like obviously if you binge for like I don't know fucking hours the day before you're going to be thinking about porn a lot more it's going to pop up in your mind it's like let's say you went to a family party and you were there for like over half of the day your the thoughts about that party is going to pop up into your mind and that's perfectly fine it doesn't matter it's just because you do something and then like a whole bunch of thoughts pop up in your mind because of it doesn't mean that you're addicted and stuff like that like you go to you've been to middle school for like four years of your life thoughts about middle school pop up in your head definitely high school if you're not in high school anymore thoughts about high school pop up in my head bro like i'll just be thinking about you and i'm like fuck you know i did that stupid thing and i'm not like oh damn i'm addicted to high school i gotta go back to high school guys no it's just like a thought that pops up into my head and i'm like shit now I can choose and I choose to interpret that thought. Okay. If I get a thought about porn and I interpret it as shit, I'm addicted with wrong information that you're given on NoFap and you're like, oh, I got to bury the thought, bury the hatchet, you know, smother the fire, like all these quote unquote spiritual people be talking about. It's not spiritual. They're just dumb. Um, I'm like not trying to be mean here, but they're not, they're not spiritual with semen retention and stuff telling you all these weird ways to quit. They're just simp no, they're not dumb. They're misinformed. I'm sorry. That was a very harsh word I used. They're misinformed. And you'll see these spiritual guys literally like f 
quote unquote fail at nofap themselves and it's just like okay what's that, what exactly is happening here so your past relapses don't mean anything because it's based off of wrong information once you have good information correct new information and you can form new decisions new thoughts new connections in your head then you can make a decision that sticks and you can stick with that decision and be like this is what i want and you stick with it instead of freaking going like instead of going like um damn you know i relapsed like fuck yesterday was insane i don't know how i'm gonna do today or like ever man like you know i've just been at it so long and um uh, I can't imagine, like, if I'm actually about to, I can't, I don't think I'm going to break free from this thing, because, like, it can't be easy since I was, <laughs> it can't be easy because I was freaking doing it like crazy yesterday, it can't be easy. It wouldn't be easy if you had, um, wrong information. So, like, if you had NoFap information, if you're following NoFap information, all that complete bs flatline accountability partner withdrawal symptoms you just look at the nofap reddit and it's riddled with it when you're following that information it's gonna feel like oh my god i can't like you're gonna have less control after that six hour binge but you have the same amount of control over your actions as you do run the six hour binge versus like you've never done it at all you have the same amount of control Thoughts may pop up more, but those thoughts don't like literally mean anything. They don't compel you. Thoughts don't compel you. And so do benefits. Benefits don't compel you either. You think like something may have benefits to it and you still don't want to do it. It's like a certain job may have mm, certain benefits, but you still, you don't want to like go after that job. You know what I mean? Because you're like, ah, oh, well, you know, I'd rather work this thing. Like other sports may have benefits and shit like that. And you're like, oh yeah, I could do that. But like, I don't want to do that. I've got to do this thing. It's the same exact way. If you found this useful, subscribe right now, motherfucker. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, comment. If you like the video, like it. Because then, you know, we end up helping more people. No, I am not pulling a Hamza Pyramid scheme on this video by telling you to like it. No, I'm telling you to like it because I know this shit is actually helpful. I'm trying to get the freedom model out here. Um, if you want the freedom model, I found a way to get it for free. Okay. Join the Discord, DM me, and I will hook you up. Okay. So, hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe if you thought it was nice. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah.